and I was going to James Logan in Fremont. And this is like hella far from Oakland. We had to catch the bus and then catch Bart hella early in the morning to even get there. Then I got kicked out of school at James Logan and I just ended up going back to Oakland. And then uh, I couldn't go to school nowhere in Oakland, but I just happened to live in the district of Skyline. So I was able to slide into Skyline if I promised to like, you know, do all my work. Yo, what's up? I'm Dell, the funky homo sapien. Life is a blast when you know what you're doing. Best to know what you're doing for your life get ruined. So what, the first, your first album? I wish my brother George was here is what, 91? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that's when I came out. Uh, I was rapping before that, of course, but that, that's when I was introduced to the world, I guess. And that was through um, Ice Cube and Sir Jinx. And they helped me, you know, mold my style and get it to where they felt it was good enough to be out on the market. Yeah, you see me in 3D, not in 2D, not two-dimensional. You get the whole picture, yo. Diesel, I'm a trip, yo. I'm a straight fool, come through the school. Doing raps and doing hip-hop, that definitely was like, just the, the, that was our world, you know? And had a friend named um, Onion that stayed in Berkeley, too. And we called this place the Onion Lab. And he had all kind of equipment similar to this, you know? but more analog back then. And we used to go over there, he charged like $10 or so, stay there all day and record whatever he had to record. Get a crate of records, carry the crate of records on the bus all the way to his house, and then do whatever we was thinking about. We just plan it during the week, write our raps in class or whatever, you know. It seems like every time I see you, you're making music though. Oh yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm always trying to make sure. I just got this. A scratch on here. So I use this to make little cut noises, sample it into here, and use it as like an instrument. You know, Public Enemy is like one of my biggest influences, so that's why, you know, I try to do it like that. Because that's what they used to do. I got a lot of beats. That's the next thing I got to work on organizing. So like different companies and stuff that I'm working with, they could just go in, choose.